Alright, you dudes. It's me. Again. I know. If I have a crappy voice, blame sore throat. And also, um, nothing else. <laughs> but in today's video, we reviewed, uh, or in early videos, earlier videos, we reviewed my, um, oh, I can't speak. When can I speak English again? But we reviewed our what weapon of choices for each position and then also our um uh face off heads and in today's video we're going to be doing accessories and gear so I, it's my gear and then like some accessories that you don't have to get but you kind of have to so let's we'll start off with uh, uh, the big cap. Did I just call it this? Cause um, it's a big cap. It blocks out the sun really good, and you can't say no to the goat. And there's like bajillions of goats down there. It helps when you're taking breaks from like playoff games or like a tournament game when you have only a couple of minutes or just an uh, hour to rest. So that's good for it to keep the sun out of your face and everything in practice. So, mm -hmm. and on that topic, with that, we also have the goat hat, USA goat. Sorry if it's a little dirty. <coughs> I haven't washed it yet, but, uh, Goat USA in the back. Go check them out because they're a great company. They get they give you like goat accessories, and they're just re a really good company, especially for lacrosse. Because if you don't know what goat is, get out. Just goat means greatest of all time. And if you abbreviate that, I think it, that's what it means or something like that. If you abbreviate it, um, it gets, and it spells goat, so. Now we got the basic wool, basic wool headband, excuse me, uh, the goat on it, it's a big headband, you just, just do that, I know. I'm not wearing it. Just, I wear this sometimes when um, my hair gets in the way for like with practice, practicing and if my hair just gets in the way in the helmet, if it's like the helmet's moving a little bit, then I'll um, wear this because it just keeps the hair out of my way. So, I know I wasn't looking at the actual way, but whatever. So, same thing, uh, go USA, not sponsored, great company. All right, this one is probably a good importance. You could say this is gear, you could say this is an accessory if you have tape on your shaft. Pro wax. Yeah, pro wax. Yeah, totally pro wax. Um, it's major league lacrosse pro wax. It increases ball control. Like if you if you spread this stuff in your po in the pocket, it uh, keeps the ball controlled in the pocket. Also, um, it protects against in climate weather can also be applied to shaft for increasing grip that's why you do too but also you could um, rub it on your gloves and that would also work too so pro wax MLL not sponsored all right What? Oh. 
it's sad that I don't know how to edit. I didn't know how to edit. I do not know how to edit. I do know how to edit, but it was my Samsung phone. And I had a special editing app that I need. So, that never happened, guys. <sighs> Okay, so, um, now we have sleeves, sleeves that goes on your arms or compressors, as people say it sometimes. Um, what I use this for is, um, it's just like sometimes when I'm already sweating and I need to put my elbow pads on, uh, they just like just can't go further because they just get stuck on the sweat and they just won't move. And uh, this is where these come in. They just don't get sweat just dripping down all over my arm. They keep it compressed, as you can say. Oh, dude, look at that. There's Wildcat. <sighs> it's not wild. It's our cat. But, uh,. Compressors definitely help sliding the um, elbow pads in if you're already sweating from the arm area, as as I do. And also, it just helps with a bit of protection if you get slashed all the time in the arm. So, I do have two of these. It matches my um, summer lacrosse uh, team. So... I guess we'll go from head to toe. Huh. Oh yeah, another accessory, goat socks. Goat socks, mans. We don't have, if you're not rolling these, these are the comfortable socks in the world. They're the most comfortable socks in the world. No, I'm not like one of those YouTubers, like, <coughs> in Logan Ball. Sorry. Um, also, um, these pretty comfortable, just like normal socks. But they're goats, man. Goat USA, goat socks. All right, head to toe. Uh, we got the Cascade CS helmet, right here, um, three bars, and, um, also, or two bars in the middle, but, um, also, um, I have a sticker up here, a bear sticker for Mountain View Bears, I have Goat sticker up here, Goat USA. Uh, American Ball Eagle. And Mario Bear. Uh, this fits on really good, as you can see. Fits on, buckle these in, and then you should be good. And then, bop, there. And then that's it. There you go. I like my heads or my helmet to be um like not all the way like this, so I have to look up at you like that. But also not like I think it's called like three bar syndrome or something. Two bar, three bar syndrome. Um I just like it right in the middle of the first bar. So, kids, don't do that. It's just weird. <laughs> but I would say do this because it's a more comfortable fit and also it protects more of your neck. So yeah. Still going a long way. I got this in Bantam. And I'm in, uh, 
junior, not junior high, just junior, like sixth, sixth grade and moving up to seventh, and it's doing me good, so I have a short head, small head, so might be lasting me a while, don't know, we'll have to see, and then in that case I'll have to get like a Cascade S, because those are pretty much the best now. Um, but still doing good, and that's my headwear. I know this video is long, just stick with me. Alright. Um, we got next is the STX Stalin elbow pads. STX Stalin 50 elbow pads, medium size. They're very comfortable, and um, they're going to last me a while, but they stank. They stank. I also use this as my dirt biking, um, like, chest wear. So, very comfortable, very good. Alright, next up on our list is the Black Brine. I forgot the whole entire name, but... These are the elbow pads that I still have after Bantam. They still fit me. They're getting a little bit tight. I think I need new ones soon, but still holding strong. So, yeah. Black Brine elbow pads. I forgot the whole entire name of them. Just normal elbow pads. Alright. Now, these are my first gloves that I wear and they're mainly my face off ones because I get to the ground or down to the ground more. Uh these are the Rabel Next Warrior Wave Rabel Next gloves. Right here. And it has his autograph is just faded away, but it's probably not his real autograph. So um these definitely you need a wax once you break them in. So yeah, pretty easy to break in, just like normal gl gloves from Bantam first ever gloves. But I use these as my face off because they're not bulky, bulkier. Like they're a little bit small on me, but I just it's like pa like tiny paddings. For facing off like with my bare hands so that's a warrior rabel next gloves all right uh next gloves i have are the same but i like to mix and match them so as you can see they're the stx stalin let's see stx stalin 50 um large 13 gloves uh, same as this one probably yep STF style in 50 yeah they're both the same so nothing different except different colors that's what I like about them the only thing is it's just they're different named pretty much the same size they're the same size na different named yeah, good gloves in general. They don't take long at all. Like once they're out of the box, they're ready to go. So STX does a good job with their. Another wild cat. <sighs> all right, moving on. Is uh Penny uh Gwinnett Thunder it's Gwinnett Thunder 38 number 38 uh Penny it flips it flips to red in the side and white outside so just the penny um you just gotta 
stick. I just brought one out, and it's the Weapon X. Come on. Weapon X head, uh, mid-low pocket with rocket, rocket, rocket mesh semi-soft. There. Rocket white mesh semi-soft. There. I got, I got it right finally. But, um... I love the head as a face-off guy and just a midfielder. Jesus! You scared me. Is that... We... <sighs> Two freaking kittens on the loose. Just, it's a good head face-off wise and midfield wise. This will take me a long, 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 long time for me to um uh really break it basically and with the shaft i got the nike 10 degree arrow uh i got nike butt end and i waxed these just this morning because yeah and i got these three knobs and i put my hand right here because just in case if it slips, I got another, and I got another. Then just another positioning hand, another positioning hand. And up here is my knob that I have so I don't get called on for touching the plastic. And yeah. As you can see, face-offs and dirt biking combined that blister especially in the middle right there yeah dirt biking and facing off all the time not a good combination they really hurt your hand after a while gotta admit but you know what that's a part of life and you know what i can deal with it so um that's no one more i said i was going head to toe and this is my last product. It's been a 17 minute video, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And these are just the um, Under Armour uh, blue and black cleats. So, <laughs> finally done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. Please leave a like. You can, you can. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Subscribe if you want. Like if you want. Comment if you want. Tell me what you want me to do for the next video. Peace. I know I'm reaching for the red light by...